I am the winner for uh, Women in Leadership Summit Award 2024 in the tech sector. My name is Kuzera Michelin. I am a software test engineer at Tirembo. I have been working at Tirembo for five years. My love for sciences started when I was a kid and kept growing. In high school, I focused on science subjects and um, I remember my dream was to become a pilot. Um, this was because of the movies I watched. Uh, but when I got to university, uh, I had limited course options and I had to, to, to choose information technology over accounting. This is how I ended up being in, in, into the tech sector. After u university, I tried different careers. I did marketing, but uh, at some point I felt, I felt it wasn't for me. I felt exhausted from constantly meeting people and talking to them. So I knew it wasn't for me. A few months later, I got my first job as an application analyst um, at a small startup. And uh, at the beginning, I thought the job, the role was about really coding, and it, it ended up being uh, checking the quality of the product this company developed. Uh, this is where I gained hands-on experience, and I enjoyed what I did, and uh, I chose to pursue a career in software testing. As a software test engineer at Rembo, my day-to-day -day, uh, activities are to deliver high-quality products. Uh, this means we need to, to run different type of tests, tests to make sure Rembo product uh, meet high quality standards before they go public. One of the challenging uh, aspects of my job is launching a service. It takes really some time from the beginning of, of a project, the development, the testing, the time it takes, the activities we do to make sure the service is launched. And then the most uh, rewarding aspect of my job is uh, seeing people happy, uh, very happy on Twitter, on social, different social media, and also being able to get the service they want. I am proud of the launch of Irenbo Gov 2.0. This is the current Irenbo platform we use today. This was one of my first biggest projects I worked on and uh, uh, I was new to my career and I was the only tester at the time of the development of th this project. So I am very proud of the role I played in testing and launch launching the first 100 services on the platform. My biggest inspir inspiration have been my parents and uh, especially my dad. He taught me to be tough, to be strong and also to, to pursue my interests regardless of uh, gender biases out here. So he inspired me really to become who I am today. I've faced many challenges in uh, in, uh, as a woman in this career. Uh, the first one, which was the biggest one, was uh, imposter syndrome and self-doubt. Uh, the fact that I was one of the few women in the room made me feel uh, that my voice was not really valuable as my, my male colleagues. I overcame this by uh, building confidence. It was a journey, it wasn't really uh, that simple. Uh, I worked on my confidence, I invested my time in learning and developing my skills.
the advice I can give to young people who want to pursue uh, a career into tech, tech sector is to believe in themselves and pursue their interests. Secondly, I would say to take advantage of learning opportunities. This can be uh, online resources and also joining communities, uh, tech communities, online or offline, just to make sure they're investing themselves. Uh, this also builds confidence whenever you, you, you are applying for a job. At least you have some something, you have some knowledge from, you know, all over the place. Uh, the last thing I'll say, interpersonal skills. Here I mean communication skills. They need to really uh, learn how to communicate, how to negotiate. This is really important. How to negotiate when it comes to, to salaries uh, and also uh, emotional intelligence, to know who you are working with, to know your team so that you can relate so easily. The advice I would give to my young self is to stick to your, to your values. Tough days will come, but hey, be strong and be tough and, sti and stick to what you believe. Secondly, I would say um, don't be afraid to have to not have any role model, at least be your own, be your own role model.